Handy Hudson Knight here. Have you ever wanted to share photos or text between apps on your iPhone, be able to send a photo quickly in an email, in a text, put it into a note? Well, I'm going to show you how to do this with the iOS 15 drag and drop feature that is built into this iOS, both on a newer iPhone, this is an iPhone 13 Pro Max, and then on an older iPhone, this is an iPhone 8 Plus. So I'll show you how it works both with phones that have Face ID and then those with Touch ID. So let's look at the iOS 15 in an iPhone 13 Pro Max. So let's see how we can copy text from Safari. I'm inside an article here and all we have to do, you know how to do this, we just long press and select the text that we want, but instead of tapping copy, what we want to do is long press on where you're highlighted and then you'll see we can move this around and swipe up to get out of that app and then we can come over into notes. So you're going to need two fingers to do this. Uh, it's a little bit to get used to, but it's not that bad. Uh, and we could drop it right in here. I'll show you how I do that in just a minute. You can also drop it in an email and you can also even drop it in as a file. And you see the plus in the upper right, the green plus symbol, it means that it can be dropped into that. So I'll just to show you here, I'll drop it into the note and there's the text that you can work with within your note, same way within an email or a text. So let's say we wanted to share this image up here all, all we'd have to do is long press on it and then begin to move it and you'll see I'm free to move it. Let's get out of that. In Safari, again, you can go into notes and drop this image into a note, into an email message. You can even drop it into a file for, for later. So let's drop it into the note. Actually, let's drop it into the email. I'll show you how to drops in. There you go, right into the body of the email. Very quick and easy. There's even another way you can share out of Safari. Let's say you wanted to share uh, this particular page in Safari, just with two fingers, pinch like that. Then you're gonna have a Safari tab, press on it, and we can move this tab around. Let's get out of there. And again, you can stick it in a note, an email, you can put it into a text message like that. And let's get out of there. Um, I'll show you how it goes here in the email. There, there's the link to it. Very easy to do within Safari. Let's say you use a different browser like Edge or, or Chrome. We can do the same thing within this browser as well with when it comes to the text. So if I long press here in Edge, select my text, press on it, you can see I can move it around just the same to paste it into a note. Unfortunately, in Edge and Chrome, you can do the same thing with the photos, but you can't do the tab feature that you can do in Safari. So if I try to pinch this, it's not going to go into a tab. So unfortunately, there's no way of doing that unless you know of a way. Let me know in the comments below. Besides, if you're enjoying this video and my content, give this video a like and subscribe to my channel, The Handy Hudson Knight, for more videos like this one. One other cool way that you can share photos between apps is going to your Photos app long press on an image and then you can move it around, come out of there and again, you can drop this image anywhere you want, where you wanna communicate, put it into a text message. And unfortunately this won't work for apps like Facebook or Instagram, but let's see, let's say you wanted to add some more images and drop them in in bulk. All you have to do is tap while you're holding this other one and you'll see them go in and you'll see that blue number in the upper right that shows you how many images you have. And then we can just drop them right in. We'll drop them into this note and you'll see all the images populate into this note. So just a cool way of sharing images between apps. The experience on an older iPhone, like my iPhone 8 Plus, is much the same, except we're gonna be using the Touch ID instead of the swipe up. So if we go into Safari, into an article, and we wanna copy text, long press, select my text and then long press on it again. And then as you can see, I can move it around, press the, the touch button down there, the touch ID button. Then we can go and paste it into a note. We can put it into an email message. We can put it into an other applications where we need that text. So that's the text feature. Same way with the image 
just long press it and then we can move it around and we can drop it in let's say to a text message drops the image right in once again on the older iPhones you can use the tab feature to share a Safari page just pinch and zoom I have multiple tabs here so that's why that showed and then long press that press the the touch ID button and then we can share this or put it in a note and there you have the link with the image to share or to keep for other purposes. So let me know in the comments below if you've used this feature, how you're enjoying it. I appreciate you watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.